A. Vitamin A plays an important role in keeping the eyes healthy, growing normal bones and teeth, and gene regulating. Its deficiency, although pretty rare in developed countries, can cause night blindness, bone problems, and infections because of immunodeficiency. Vitamin A can mostly be found in egg yolks, liver oil, meat, cheese, and butter. B1. Vitamin B1 helps convert food into energy, maintaining healthy skin and a healthy nervous system. Its deficiency, called beriberi, can be dry or wet. Dry beriberi can cause neuropathy, which happens with nerve damage. Wet beriberi, on the other hand, causes dilated cardiomyopathy, which causes the heart chambers to thin and stretch, growing larger, and it can even cause heart failure in the worst scenarios. As it's a water-soluble vitamin that can be eliminated through urine when in excess, it's more likely to have a B1 deficiency, but it's less likely to have toxic amounts of it in your body. The main sources of vitamin B1 are eggs, meat, yeast, vegetables, and nuts. B2. This one also helps to convert food into energy, and it keeps the blood healthy. It's also water-soluble, and its deficiency is usually caused by malnutrition, and sometimes by lacking dairy products and meat, especially in people who don't drink milk because they're lactose intolerant. It can be found in milk, whole grains, eggs, yeast, mushrooms, and leafy green vegetables. B3. Vitamin B3 has similar functions as vitamins B1 and B2. Its deficiency causes pellagra, which has symptoms like diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, and even death. B5. Vitamin B5 aids in the creation of lipids, neurotransmitters, steroid hormones such as testosterone and progesterone, and hemoglobin, a protein in your red blood cells. Good sources of B5 include chicken, broccoli, avocados, and tomatoes. B6. Vitamin B6 helps regulate amino acids involved in sleep, appetite, and mood, and it also helps the creation of red blood cells. B6 can mostly be found in fish, legumes, potatoes, and bananas. B7. B7 helps synthesize glucose, break down fatty acids, and maintain healthy bones and hair. Vitamin B7 deficiency is pretty rare, as it's found in most foods, but there's a strange habit that could lead to it, eating raw egg whites, as they contain a protein called avidin, which is an anti-nutrient that prevents the absorption of B7. B9 B9 is sometimes taken by pregnant women to ensure brain health of the child, and it's necessary for cell creation. It's usually found in asparagus, okra, spinach, and orange juice. B12 Vitamin B12 plays a key role in DNA synthesis and in the metabolism of fatty acids and amino acids. A B12 deficiency can make red blood cells large and ineffective, leading to megaloblastic anemia with symptoms like difficulty walking, numbness or tingling in hands and feet, fatigue, etc. Vitamin B12 is usually found in meat-based products, and for this reason, some say that its quantity should be kept under supervision by vegetarians or vegans. C. It's only found in fruits and vegetables, especially citrus fruits, and it's an antioxidant with the ability to fight off free radicals, which are unstable atoms that can damage cells. A deficiency in vitamin C can cause scurvy, the famous disease that caused the death of pirates, with symptoms like slow wound healing, easy bruising, teeth falling out, gum diseases, skin bleeding, and eventually, death. D. Vitamin D plays a role in regulating mood and absorbing calcium and phosphorus, which help maintain strong bones and teeth. Vitamin D deficiency causes osteomalacia in adults, called soft bones disease, and rickets in children, which make bone deformities appear. The solution for rickets in kids was feeding cows cod liver oil, rich in vitamin D, which in turn produced milk with high amounts of vitamin D that was drunk by kids. Vitamin D is created through exposure to sunlight. E. Vitamin E comes mostly from fruits, seeds, and seed oils, and it protects other nutrients, such as vitamin A and certain lipids, from being damaged. It also prevents Alzheimer's disease. Vitamin E deficiency is pretty rare, but when it happens, it can lead to impaired coordination, muscle weakness, and even paralysis in severe cases. Also, red blood cells rely on it to maintain their integrity and to not be destroyed too early, so its deficiency can cause anemia. K. Vitamin K helps blood coagulate, as it activates the proteins and calcium necessary to do so. It's also produced by bacteria in our gut, but it can be found in cabbage, liver, broccoli, and kale. Its deficiency can lead to excessive bleeding after injuries, osteoporosis, and increased cardiovascular disease.